Okay. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so live now. Hello, everybody. Today we'll talk about um, how to sketch. And uh, like, I want to mention some important points, kind of tips, which is uh, I don't see usually people mention it's like kind of is scattered around different sources and um, i i like to uh, kind of mention all this together in one tutorial talk so let me just quickly share so here's my sketchbook it's a metro it's like sketching in taiwan metro so I will show you some my uh, uh, sketches from Taiwan sketchbook and um, mm, yeah so and also remind also want to remind um, it's a donation system uh, I connect to my YouTube so I will very appreciate if you will donate all money will go to charity uh, I uh, cooperate with people who like volunteer organizations. They have many volunteers in Ukraine who like provide people with food. So they need some money. So your all your donations will go there. I don't take anything. Just uh, give it directly. Because we have like a, a contacts with people right there who like every day uh, like providing them you know so we can send money directly to this volunteer uh, organization to these people Dunk. and I send here also write me like uh, do you usually sketch on the streets or in the metro in a cafe I personally I love to sketch in cafe. Tuck. Whoa, I just tuck. I I love sketch in uh, metro in general. Cause usually I don't go to cafe. I don't I don't know, just don't have this habit to sit in cafe. But uh, cafe also might be a good place. Like especially if like you can have like a variety of uh, uh, situations. Like some cafe, you can see, for example, like some cafe can have view for bus station or uh, for um, road intersection, crossroad with uh, uh, traffic lights, you know. So you can draw people walking, you can draw people standing, waiting for a green light, or you can draw people sit on a bus station. You, so and you, if you look in outside kind of cafe in a window but also you have this uh, people who sit inside like you who sit they have also these different situations they can drink uh, hold some cup in their hand or um, they can like a conversation and stuff like this Also, also I have Discord channel. Talk, let me try. If uh, um, like I made uh, there like a voice room in Discord, so my friends uh, there can join live conversations with a audio, not only like writing text kind of you know. okay. Так. Okay, so I think Okay, so uh, I start, I will show you some my sketchbook. So this uh, is like a calendar, basically. I just uh, sketch an inside calendar, kind of. Uh, 
No a just uh, want to re recycle kind of calendar. Don't want to waste waste it. So um, I start kind of drawing people in metro. I started in Hong Kong because I was every day go to job and. Uh, is a bunch of time was spent every day in the train and I find it's like because I don't have other free time to go to studio to draw models I think it's a very good opportunity to draw people um, like make quick sketch and uh, it's um, even if it's a you know interesting thing here it's like some people will say like oh it's always same same kind of pose right especially now people hiding their faces with a mask right it's like uh, now already it's like less variety than ever before we, we can draw only eyes and uh, I don't know hair haircuts but still even the, here with mask uh, interesting thing it's uh, for artists, uh, we kind of um, uh, to kind of to find some uh, special moments, to find some uh, uh, diversity inside similar situations. You know, like for example, like how people sit. People can sit like so many ways, so many like, and uh, by drawing them like in uh, this like reoccurring situation very similar situation by drawing them again and again uh, you start to notice these differences sometimes a slight differences sometimes it's very contrast ones um, but is, this is really important for artists is kind of creating your well, artist vocabulary creating your eye like developing your eye your ability to see these differences because also this what like these two posts right two, so different character absolutely different feeling kind of so um this vocabulary uh this is your like toolbox right like how to um toolbox about how to um one second i mute this to, to toolbox and also it's like your uh, <coughs> um, palette, you know. So more a, a variety you able to uh, execute is like uh, better for you. So, so it, it's just like when you want to express something, when you want to do it. Uh -huh. Hello, Lovo Mintan. Oh, so difficult to pronounce your name, Livo. Hello. Uh, so, uh, and this kind of experience of uh, trying to defy and to ex uh, like to show this difference, this varieties, is this is very very um, important, very essential. Uh, so, Livo asked like how long I draw. Still this. Okay, uh, Livo asked like how long I draw uh, this kind of, I mean this kind of average sketch. Um, it depends, I, I, I even, I never, I never check actually exactly, but I mean like you can imagine like try to draw somebody like in a, in a train. So I draw as long as they keep their stance. So often uh, I draw a little longer they can change their pose or they can go or walk away so uh, sometimes I'm lucky like I can draw it uh, like here like she was sit pretty long time watching her phone so I don't know maybe like 10 minutes or 5 minutes something like this from 5, five to 10 minutes no, 10 maybe I think Uh, so yeah, this is another thing. So I will I will mention now. I just like little demonstration, and uh, then I will mention this kind of things. 
uh, it's called like economy of, of line it's like um, uh, because uh, what make you draw fast how to uh, how to draw fast right it's uh, we we say draw fast we say like quick sketch right but actually it's like not at all about your speed it's not like kind of moving fast your hand or stuff like that no it's it's absolutely not it kind of everybody have pretty same movement of their hand like when they draw you can watch kim jong gi like when it's like real time speed right sometimes it even feels like he draw very slow you know uh, what makes your fast drawing is economy of line like um, uh, for example like if you see some drawings with a lot of hatching a lot of lines you know just physical lines more lines longer it takes that's all simpler right? more hand movements you do longer time you more time you need more energy you spend more like uh no yeah it's just it, it just take longer so we can compare like you see uh how many line is here it's so little line right and uh how many line here for example it's like same woman but is much more lines here and uh, or or here so i even like will spend some time to make kind of texture and little things like this right so uh is this a uh, kind of artist grammar this essentials is about how to uh, you need to understand what is essential things uh, i will mention now like it's uh, about this like um, uh, simplifying like uh, you know some kind of scale some kind of um, this uh, how's this word like let's say like scale from zero to 100 right 100 is like super detailed like a lot of uh, like you can like even like pointillism when you just like make draw every pixel every dot you know it's like take what hundred percent of time like all your life for example right and on the left is like zero and one and etc so it's like you can make only one line or you can make like two line or something you can make like very simple shape like uh, how much you exclude and how much you uh, actually show this is a kind of it's a point this is also very important skill this is something at least you need to be aware of when you draw it's like not only to draw fast I mean, I mean it's absolutely not the point is about how many you show what you show and what you not show i have here a very good example let me show you my favorite artist yeah so this is a very good example i was study also from him no it's kind of i draw his uh Surnov andre you can find on the internet so i was sketched from him it's kind of his style just to understand to have this experience it's a perfect example of this idea it's like all um like um about this like decisions uh like what to show and what to not show so how to show enough to make it understandable to make it uh work to make to cause some effect you know so this what should be in your consideration like when you draw somebody what uh what make him look like you see him what well, you see so it's like for example uh like this man in a hat right so what make him look like man in a hat it's this outline of head it's enough to just to see it's a hat uh, no cape, cap cap right so uh and uh here okay we have just this little bump and we already know it's kind of it's a, about ear it's ear and we don't need to kind of draw all these details about ear and stuff 
uh, he show here this like little shadow um he's like uh how's this called eye and the shadow under cheek and this little line which is also indicate shadow under this like mouse uh, round muscle this one you know so it's just like little little indications and they be already have this face um, which is recognizable if somebody face then here uh, just to make this line with couple bumps with couple this uh, turns he makes this hooks just to indicate is like volumetric form there this like bunch of uh, curves already enough to indicate it's a uh, three-dimensional so this is kind of our artist tools and thinking process example same here we can recognize that somebody behind this uh, metro kind of bars or how it's called right so uh and uh, we can uh, see is some kind of typical hoodie jacket right so and uh, he even don't draw face here but we kind of we can understand and it's work pretty nice same uh, here face what is face here so this you need to train your uh, vision you need to learn how to look how to look um, how you look other artists is same as how you look um, uh, when you draw it's like you learn these uh, tricks about how to see as artist so how he showed it here he don't draw all this line here we can draw it in our head so he just indicate where it goes same here he don't draw like whole he doesn't connect this we kind of we know here is going like this so you don't need to draw everything what our brain can imagine what our brain can build upon right so like same like who all the rest of the body and stuff like this same with the face just uh you see how like few of lines build this face I just given this point okay so uh, here it was like inter uh, um, let's see. intro so here basically this only one page which I drew from other artists for study and the rest is which is my uh, live sketch mostly in the metro and um, so this one I was draw in uh, like bookshop in Taipei. Also have some like events sketching. But this sketch in event like our meetings against war in Ukraine. Uh, ah, you can see here, help you raise this uh, donations. Uh, also, go to link, uh, link below in the description to this video and uh, donate some. Donate, man. Track. Yeah, so, okay, so I want to tell about important. Uh, tips like uh, what is important when we sketch how to improve how to um, what to focus at you know like what to keep in mind and what to focus to make uh, so we make sure we will improve will be draw good quality something and stuff like this so um, first is like um I think it's always should be purpose in your mind. Like what is purpose of a sketch you you will do or you're doing right now at this moment. So let's say right here. Purpose 
or uh, go or task kind of this you know so and here is a bunch of them here is yeah is many different tasks you can have uh, let's give you some example Tuck. take co uh, different colors Tuck. let's see uh -huh. so let's say you can train drawing like different angles like draw head from different angle like draw head from different angle or eyes from different angle or ear from different angle because you can if you for example like in you no, in different situation, you sit in the metro, then you can draw somebody face from down looking up, right? You can stay behind somebody, like you will see somebody from behind, you will draw his hair or head from behind. You can say like side from him, you can draw him from a side, uh, three quarter, like all this, so many different angle. And so um, um, when you sketch, you can think this, okay, say, okay, what reason of me drawing something? It's like, why is important? Because if you don't have clear purpose, or at least like bunch of purposes, you know, which, like, what may be reason of, of uh, why you're drawing it, it's, um, then you will kind of have like all this like a mature kind of thing like you will try you will tend to um, draw for gallery like like oh i want to draw like the best sketch in the world for uh for gallery so like get like all, all awards awards and like uh, i want to be notice it for this sketch and like you know draw best sketch in the world and all the stuff so it's like when you don't have clear purpose c clear reason you have this kind of unrealistic reason and make which will make you always frustrated it's kind of like you will like oh it's just so ugly sketch or like oh i cannot finish like figure like for example like some sketch like this you know some sketch uh, like this or um, uh, like this is just like some hands or something so you don't need uh, actually you don't need to every time to draw like award-winning uh, painting or like s super like historical level uh, art right so and here it's like my example of purposes of goals what I have in my mind when I uh, when I draw uh, so here is like draw different angles and uh, so it can be like um, oh okay yeah you train train draw different angles you draw like different elements which is like eyes you can draw like whole page only drawing different people eyes or like hair, hair like haircuts hairstyles like different try different way of drawing hair and uh, nose or mouse you know and uh, ear well, for example and hands, fingers, shoes, anything, you know, just just draw only shoes, for example. Drawing shoes is easiest thing to draw in a public place because, I mean, you can do it, like, I think nobody will feel personal, like, if you draw with their shoes. Um, 
uh, my advice usually I draw people who is not like right in front of me because they will notice and th you will make them uncomfortable <laughs> no need to make people uncomfortable be polite uh, and uh, gestures gestures yeah. so we can see no gestures this means like like different poses different poses like people can be sit like an expressive pose they can open pose close pose they can uh, uh, like different clothing also making different gesture it's just like art artist term so other thing you can train shapes shapes so uh shapes what is shapes shapes includes uh, like light and shadow so i mean i mean like you can um seeing like okay i draw in light side and shadow side like you can watch in my other video when i was sketching people faces like only like light and shadow so you, when you draw like uh, sketch them you can just train focus only on this light and shadow then other way of using shapes uh, is uh, like a zo uh, zones it's like for example like face so here's like in Cernov uh, sketch for example like here you can see like uh, so this it's a shape so we have like outline and then some little marks inside this shape same like shape of a full figure shape like they have like overall shape and this sh overall shape breaking in the smaller shapes so this is like set of uh, group of shapes and which is composed in one bigger shape and this you must to think, practice draw this way ne ne like uh, this your way to become like real artist is like think in these categories like abstract categories like shapes don't just draw outline outline is like no it's um um no, it's like pointless thing it's like it's you cannot uh develop good quality with just like outline it's nothing no but shape shape is something shape can have different quality shape can uh, is something you can uh, like work on it you can make like learn how to make um shapes with different if um effect you know to make different effect on people so it's like this kind of abstract composition thing so no is there everywhere this example like can be like this shape or like this shape you know also it, it, it can be like this very noisy shape or like this more um sought through kind of shape so this is a real thing you can find a lot of tutorials about this is some like at least at least i want to mention it and at least uh, so you must to be aware of these things you don't draw people people is like side effect of drawing shapes and uh, abstract composition you know this is the best approach i believe it's like you're keeping people in mind but actually you're drawing abstract stuff you draw in lines on paper and all the stuff you know it's actually it's not real people <laughs> we need to remember this sometimes it's just um, marks on the paper yeah. so uh and we are artists is like uh, magicians kind of right we are know this kitchen behind we're, we kind of know we want to trick people we want them to believe it's a real people kind of but 
we are manipulating with abstract things. We're manipulating with this different tones, colors, different lines, different um, shapes, and stuff like that. So it's important. Keep in mind. Так, so and let's say. Uh huh. So also here is interesting thing is this uh, shapes. How to work with shapes is like, um, like again, like I was mentioned before, is like uh, sim simplif simplification. Oh my god! I'm afraid I spell it wrong. But okay, forgive me for that. So again, as like uh, you can see. Here, these shapes, mm, like a kind of middle one. It's like not very simple, not very detailed. Uh, let me show you more examples. Like here, shape is very unclear. It's kind of messy. And uh, abstract, uh, on abstract uh, point of view is is not so well, uh, not so good. So uh, here shape more clear. We can see kind of this unity of her figure, oh, and also her pose here is more clear, more simple. Um, Or here, you see, like for example, what what is shape here? We have shape this kind of here all outline here, right? And we have shape inside. It's like her face uh, framed by hair line. You see? It's a shape here. And then inside this shape, I draw this kind of eyes and uh, nose. So this how it works. This what I mean. See, it's so much more striking. It's so much more uh, um, effect when you are approaching this way. And this I show you like kind of very simple one. It's very simplified, right? But you can develop it further a lot. You can make it super realistic, up to you. And but you can see like so many like uh, where it's like great master who is like very realistic, very like detailed and uh, work through painting. They still have so good quality shapes so clear all this like outlines or like like divide division of different elements like where it's like head face mustache or nose or something everything is just like a set of different shapes it's like shape 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 smaller shape inside bigger shape one shape near other shape all these shapes interaction shapes in like puzzle of shapes you know or here you see or here like all this is the shapes and then okay like this for example like you can uh, put all this like more 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 detail so also it's like how it's work as a sequence right like start from simple and can you can put make it more and more difficult after you can put colors and this how also um, why is very good thing to do it this way because no I mean it's it's very practical to draw this way and in, in uh, when you need to draw fast you can draw like um, you can th uh, with this approach you also you can mm, capture very quickly most important things and then you can like proceed uh, to like all these details and colors and everything when people already walk away you know Tuck. 
simplification or also it's like three value I say value three value like as I told before it's like we have light middle and dark so here for example even have this here here a light is uh, white like here we have white here uh, dark is this uh, line brown line is the dark here in the middle is all these grayish colors same here we have this like a dark light and the gray right. also let's show you uh, here yeah here is like light is white black dark is the line and the gray is these colors so still three value so sometimes this three value also can be like more detail like kind of like here for example we have gray which have like uh, two or four, four or more so like different of uh, tones it can be like light gray dark gray middle gray kind of this but is gray is still kind of inside this range of gray inside this specter of gray colors gray tones so here one more what we have like uh let's say train technique oh, i was forgot how to write this word oh my god okay oh just like this so uh for example type of line or uh kind of quality of line quality of line and uh, tex textures or uh, patterns and this no, okay, let's say like type of line is, I mean, it's like can be thin line, can be thick line, it can be like a uh, pointed line or like angular and stuff. So you can like deliberately, again, it's like we're talking about goal where you sketch, you can deliberately say like, okay, I want to draw only with angular line. Like make whole sketch with angular line, I will like kind of stylization uh, uh, or make only with a round line you know so or i want to draw like in some mm, situation i will use very thin line in other situation i will use like more thick line like for figure outline for example let me show here. Oops, here I have example dun, 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 dun. No, my line like pretty random, but I, I use like sh um, dark spots sometimes, like you see like some darks for here, for here, like this, like texturing with this uh, strokes on a t-shirt. And uh, yeah, textures can be like you, what kind of fetching kind of, you know cross hatching it's also kind of textures or you want to use some wavy line or you want to use dots all the thing is like don't uh, approach it don't consider it randomly best if you will like practice it deliberately if you will say like oh this per part i want to make like this like dots like dun -dun 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 -dun. so you use it like dun -dun. you control process you choose what you do and also what is important here it's these things uh, you can improve it a lot by copying from artists you appreciate just copy from them just look directly like how to draw like them for example like um, how in their style like how they draw nose or hair and uh, I have like three uh, my favorite 
uh, here examples is this uh, Mobius, Miyazaki, and uh, Atoma. Right? So let's see what I mean. <clears throat> and I did a lot, I have just like sometimes sit and sketch uh, with them, like sketch only noses or sketch only eyes. So I, I will see exactly how they draw their noses, how they draw eyes. And after I can use their approach to drawing people from real life in the metro, you know. So let's find some black and white. Okay, so like here you see how he draw eyes. You just do li a curved line and a circle. So just like this and upper line more thick and here okay we can also indicate like he draw here eyebrow you see what I mean so we have like one two three like thin line mid more thick line and uh, like this super thick line for eyebrow and circle so it's four element three line type of line to draw eye like here in this situation from a uh, Atomo. here how he draw eye again it's like we have more thicker line for both very thin line here we have this gap gap here then he draws this like small triangles and then here something like that and eyelash so kind of like this Oh, I had to draw eyelashes. So, uh, drawing this way, you will improve very fast. It's really like everybody work like this, everybody learn like this. Just, you already love some artists, so uh, don't um, be easy on it. Be more deliberate, be more conscious. Just uh, study directly from them. <coughs> uh, learn exactly like break down their work in every every situation so let's see uh, and draw hundreds times thousand times draw until you will feel like you are doing it like very easy you like drawing their style very easy let's say uh, another style how draw I I is just example here for this moment. Like can be nose and it's in like nose. Look. How he draw nose? Oh my god, it's so much line economy here. If you will draw noses like this in the metro, it takes you like smaller than one second, you know? Quicker than one second. So and how he draw eyes. Uh let's see. So we have here we have eyebrow from my bro so it's not mean that you will every time draw same eye you know again and again no it's just uh, to understand um, mechanic mechanic of, of drawing like them like principle you know it's, uh, it's just the quickest way to understand the principle of uh, their approach to something like this okay and then here nose and again so we have
like what kind of lines, how many of lines. So here's like uh, he used like same thickness of line, same line thickness. Let's see some other one. Okay, here. How he draw eyes here? Uh -huh, here is different. Here we have like from thin to thick, then just like this, then just one line here, and like this. You see? It's very simple. It's just one, two, three, four. So, uh, if you want to draw in a style like uh, here in uh, Miyazaki Nausicaa, you, it's enough just to make four, four marks with your uh, pen. Yeah. So, and we can see how he drew shape of face here so it's like this and so he have very good shapes you see even without drawing all these like textures because here he have hatching without uh, maybe you you can like ignore his life uh, line style line kind kind of line you can use different materials and uh, like let's say we can do same like with a shaking line broken broken shaken line Stuff like that. Oh, oh, here he draws this man. Here, how he draw eye here. So, just exactly, just draw exactly. Just to, like, you need to become like him at this moment. Like, imagine, like, if you are not copying from him, if you're already in this situation when you just draw it yourself. So, just like play a role of being him of being Miyazaki Tak, so here he make like little shadow and here something like this and we have some like wrinkle around Like this. And nose, okay. Let's say, for example, nose. Like we have from different angles. Nose is just one, two, three line. One, two, three. Three marks. And here is. He make interesting that he. I don't know why, but he's like, instead of drawing one line, he make step like this, so it's like empty, empty area here. So this kind of small, fine details. Uh-huh, and let's see, one more, Milbius, Milbius, Milbius. See, yeah, Mobius is totally different style. Like how he draw noses here, or how he draw eyes. Let's say nose. Or so like this. Like 
this uh, over here is just he just draw like two nostrils or how he draw lips look he draw lips And so more you will copy from them, more uh, you feel uh, is like your thing, you know. And after you will draw it yourself without watching anybody, and you can do it like in a different way. Um, this uh, when you copy is just like help you to change your mind in the most effective way. That's why that's what is the reason. So and again, like you see, it's too um, important is to break down so what we have here we have uh, two kind of lines it's like this more thick this more thin uh, then we have little like kind of hatching right we have like this lower lip below we have this line became a hatching so you notice this thing because when you notice them when you know them, you will redo them. So it's not like blunt, uh, like direct copy and I just, oh, I just copy kind of him, like I want to make exactly like him. No, no sense. Uh, it's no sense to copy him just in this, for copying. Idea is to copy him for, uh, to this, uh, like, learn his uh, elements like which elements which tools he is applying let's say eyes oh yeah here very interesting like how same artist drawing eyes in a different situation so here when he we have like smaller face he draw eyes just like two dots so here's like eyes and nose when cl face is closer, uh, he make this eyes like this here, like eyebrow and the nose, right? So, and then sometimes this eye became like here is more squarish. You see, I brought he change thickness of line from thin to thick. Then, what uh, more? Okay, so let's see here. Here is same guy, but he like have some evolution in the story, so his eyes start to change but it's kind of is a good opportunity to to see how he uh, how artists draw different eyes took here line is broken here you see so now it's like he used more lines to show his eyebrows and show some eyelash and indicate some shadow kind of here so you see I uh, consciously um, like breaking down like where is the line where is like different line quality and where is like texturing where is like hatching this kind of hatching thing okay and same with everything like how you draw fingers ears nose um, 
hair, uh, like how he drew texture of hair, how he drew texture of foliage on the trees, how he drew fur and, st and everything like this. Like, it's more. And again, it's like, I don't know if you got this point or not. It's very important. This thing is like how you, s how you think when you draw or before you draw. Uh, is these things I don't I don't see usually people like explain um, because like I can like draw here and show you how to draw and uh, you will I will leave behind all this very necessary thing which is more important it's like how you uh, what to look at what to have in your mind when you draw you know so uh, next, let's say it's uh, yeah, so also what to keep in mind when you draw a sketch uh, or when you want to improve your sketch on a life or any kind of sketch. Let's say is um, simplification. I have two aspects here. Uh, one aspect is like simplification of even like um, from a point of uh, your physical effort. It's like uh, let's say minimize uh, hand movement. something like you know like kung fu uh, thing it's like how to make a result without like moving or uh, doing unnecessary uh, movements make only like necessary movements like look only like like oh like a drawing this chair like kind of like Chinese calligraphy, you know, this kind of showing off thing, but not for showing off, just for uh, working on the quality and economy of your lines. Is this point here? Like, chara, chara. Is, is, is this is just what is really speed up your work? It's uh, thinking like about how to be more effective doing less move and less lines don't do anything unnecessary kind of this. so and here yeah so minimum elements and uh, oh, and lines again as I say so it's totally different from drawing in a studio for five days like very long model pose and stuff and when you draw when you need to draw a lot when you need to draw quick and many and often this is very different kind of situations Duck. so only way you can draw f or faster it's if you will make simplification and simplification is in, in general is very important for art but especially it's important for you to improve your speed kind of drawing speed and with a good quality so which you simplification is like hand movement and less elements less lines Attack. yeah and uh, one also important thing is uh, experimenting just experimenting with different materials And you see, it's important to say it this way. It's important to consider it this way. Experimenting. So it means it's don't ma not need to be like successful. It don't need to be like, wow, I made it like for the first time. I made it like perfect or like Paragon kind of things. Like everybody says like, wow. Have you ever used watercolor before? No, it's my first time I drew watercolor. Like, oh, you're a master already, you know. No. <laughs> yes, yeah, so uh, and 
why need experimenting yeah it's like you can um like try and uh, improve or like um, develop like train different techniques uh, techniques oh, dear. Oh, i forgot okay i forgot how to write the spell every time i need to check in google how to spell techniques oh, Jesus. and uh, different materials Mat like different like pencil pen brush marker different kind of brush you know different kind of um hair in this brush long brush short brush so many things in like it's so cool when you find your favorite one but you cannot know which tool is your favorite which material is your favorite if you'd never tried it right that's why it's important to try it in the try on the field try material when you really want to draw something you know not just like oh i'm i make bunch marks uh, on the papers like no you cannot know is yours or not you need to try it in a real situation you need to like i will show you like in my sketchbook like when there's just uh, i've been like using marker for drawing like 100 people then i change i switch for pen and i draw 100 people with pen then i switch for pencil i draw 100 people with pencil and etc you know and or i i use like marker drawing in uh, for quick sketch also i try marker for drawing like more slow work like drawing on the wall drawing for like exhibition drawing for fun different situation for same material or uh, different task for same material or different material for same task so i will i will write it same task different material how to draw nose like with the same approach but using different material or how to use uh, um, how to draw with marker different kind of noses you know it's interesting so like same material and different disc. Так. so and uh, так. yeah and also like uh, also techniques it's about like shapes um how to say it's like no oh, techniques okay you can google like, like what kind of drawing techniques and stuff just how to use okay way of using of using materials because you, you you can like you know you can uh, pencil on your hand like if you have soft pencil and then smudge you can like uh, cut uh, pencil on your paper smudge. You can hatch in and stuff. Yeah, different met methods. Ah, okay, different methods. Tuck. Oh, okay. Let me go again to the stream room. Yeah. Hi, John. I'm uh, back to audio channel if you want. Uh, or yeah, different strategies anyway yeah you experiment in different methods different strategies how to write methods yeah methods strategies Tuck, i offer my sound oh. strategies. okay 
So and here all this I was still right and now I will show you like how I do in it So I show you again. You see now with all this uh, thing after all this thing I was tell you Ah, okay, okay. Yeah, let's just uh, chat and uh, you can listen Listen to me. Yeah, so now uh, I will show you so you see uh, I experiment with different materials like okay here I have using this um, pen it's like marker it's called brush sign pen it's like a brush nib and I have different colors I have this brown gray also I have black so you can see like here I draw with the gray one here I draw with the brown one So I draw in different situation here. I use with black this. Then I do experiment and also uh, sometimes I did this like shapes like for background because I think like okay how it will look if I will put some uh, shape some color on behind. So I will more emphasize this uh, silhouette of a body and uh, so you see i here i did is like a one chunk shape here this uh, for this lady shape um it's no shape it's just like a gray um gradient of background right so see it's like this like watercolor gradient so again like another experiment right trying different um so also here like I did this like contrast colors which is like pink and green so this again like make a transition and still like here I use uh, watercolor for background to define shape or to make it more readable shape of uh, people and uh, here I make it more like trying to do together like background and figure and also I try to keep limited palette, so I only use like grayish blue and uh, pink and little yellow so and I trying to make very soft so you see what I say I try and I think in what I'm do I think in what I'm do I try and this or that I try and this with this or this with that you know try and what thing with other thing then try and opposite and stuff so here is like this for background then i have here i using it for shape itself so it's like if uh, somebody in the shadow here i using like two background shapes trying different colors some one more saturated some more like uh, pale then here i try to make it like more realistic probably like kind of show some like Kariaskura, some light and shadow with background again like background light and shadow Let's try and use it for hair not only like if here it was like only for background now I also try to use here it's like for uh, kind of uh, for hair make it more colorful try to make color only for phone here I just simple more graphic just some orange for background again just to see to make more vari variety on the pages and also to see how it can be looking just, this experiments they give you this experience and this experience go and build your uh, kind of you no, I mean, is your art experience is going to your subconsciousness. All your tries, your brain will notice. Say, okay, I tried like background, I tried this as a silhouette, and here it also has some background, so it's like a gradient, uh, like fading away backgrounds. See, and I notice, like, say, okay, it's very cool to make some backgrounds, even if they are very pale. Also, it's kind of drawing inside calendar. It's also kind of experiment. So here I use for this one. I use uh, this uh, 
brush can tell like uh, um, no, you know it's like a real brush pen so again a uh, same task drawing people in metro like sitting figures but try different materials again like this pencil pencil brush pen so it's like di different quality totally different also a pencil brush pen if i use watercolor above is not uh, uh, melted let me show you i have so so like here i use this uh, black uh, marker and he melted with watercolor. He melted with water. So when I mix it with uh, watercolor, water will melt uh, lines of marker. So here, I and I, I have uh, three, three attempts of drawing same old man, because I like I really like his pose and the situation. So here's was first attempt. Then was. Second attempt is like I lost uh, structure. That was third attempt. I still kind of not happy with him, but uh, also uh, you know it's kind of harsh reality. You will never draw perfect. You will always see better than you able to draw. Like so, what I want to show. Ah, yeah, this one. So this again, I use like pencil brush, and here this um, pencil brush lines they are not melted with water. So it's like different thing, different quality. It's just harder to draw uh, fine lines um, because if this like black, you can uh, uh, with a black marker, this black marker you can draw more thin lines. With a pencil brush pen, it's very difficult, yeah, especially when it's like sh shaking, you know everything. So, so again here colors it's just simple color it's just like very g light gray here's little bluish here's like more little uh, orangish orangish gray and now uh, you see again experiment I'm like uh, drawing different elements hands watches on the hands So I don't know. Have any question? I, uh, if you want to know, I just keep explaining here. Again, this pencil brush pen. Here is this uh, marker with brush nib. And you see also again experimenting with background. But now background is this like mountain on the behind, which is I love kind of in this. Uh, metro elevated metro where you can see this view from high here is because we're um underground uh we cannot see much behind window because it's uh, dark and we see reflection and you can see this person in the reflection and again so here i was thinking like if making like little shadow with the grayish and some blue green for window view so it gives this like different shapes and also gives some backgrounds and this one my favorite two two colors right gray and green also this green actually have two colors inside because have like some more bluish and more yellowish and this i'm using uh, brown marker 
and you can see like somewhere it's like little melted so it's also it's also interesting uh, uh, element uh, for a style when it's mel melted uh, what I learned from color experiments uh, no I just uh, I, um, no, I, I learned in this uh, how to be deliberate about shapes like you see here is this like green it's uh, this like background shape here and like and also it's like two shapes in the composition right so we have like this uh is a element of composition like two shapes with color and when um uh, when it's so simple it's also good for training for practice because you have this like clear understanding how it works because later if i will do like colorful complicated composition uh i will have like everything colorful but still i will use same approach when i did de very deliberated when i control and when i compose all these shapes Talk. and also see here it's like two different uh situation here these shapes they're very clear they're very sharp right have this e sharp edges these shapes is not clear it's just like really like vogue background also i practice like um using like less color as possible just like one or two no kind of usually it's two contrast colors like uh, warm and cold you know like uh, like a bluish and yellowish or like pink and green or orange and uh, purple kind of this so you can see here it's just like still it's like yellow and blue just like in a different um, mixture so here's like very little blue so it's like greenish yellow and here's like blue but uh, still we can see some kind of greenish inside this blue here I was just try with a marker. Mm, cannot say it's good, but uh, okay, it's experiment. So just trying to practice uh, how, what combination of color, maybe look interesting. What combination of color in which material I can use for sketching, like markers, watercolor. Like here I have like acrylic background with uh, watercolor above so it has this kind of messy texture also kind of interesting right and again here i use this uh, pencil brush pen for this one and for this one i use ikea markers this is from ikea mala which is also very cool actually is this markers they just don't good for this paper because it's going like through paper here it was picture on a, on a page, it was printed picture, but I draw with this brush pen and it's so funny, it's, it's cool like how it's like sunset on the window, like a view with sunset, it's so interesting coincidence. Same like some pages, they already have color and same I do in this color experiments and uh, it makes this like, like lucky accidents. Or something so it's just given more experience of using colors just so I just try to make it like again the same as line less lines um, simplest shapes and less colors it's the best because when you can control your color do it very few of them then you can make it expand you can expand from few if you can make few color work then you can expand this color work more and more with more amount but if you are like always kind of stuck on playing with all your color palettes like trying to make some good picture you will you will never able to control colors on your work you know this is what i was learning many years just until i was really realized it's like work with colors it's like work is be able to to make a good picture with one color, two colors, three color, you know. So, 
then when you're able to do picture with only two three color then you will have like much better understanding how to organize like all this color varieties kind of hundreds and thousands and stuff because actually all of them start just from two kind of from two colors like uh, two contrast colors on the ground on the like on the basis you know it's like you know, like in yang kind of in this light shadow or warm and cold so uh, no matter how many color you use it's always warm and cold there so uh, you is a good to practice just to work with warm and cold just with yellow blue like green pink yeah so here you see this 7-eleven or oh, seven, uh, ikea markers there's uh, just going through paper this paper is too too bad so i made my new sketchbook so it's very good paper now Tuck. so here again i did some like inside uh color and uh, some of this color is have this brownish because it's uh, melted from these brown lines so it's also so interesting you know to try this have these different accidents and i make this like transition gradient from dark to light so to also to show this leg in the front and this leg going back so i make it darker so it's gonna look like it's going back again just experiment try to how can i use same here have contrast is like uh this like red orange and uh, this blue green you see it's also like kind of contrast colors here or here this like greenish and purplish always try it like it's like i already know what is color um contrast colors but try it try it try it again in different situation with different materials and stuff so this this uh, this enrich my kind of myself as artist this is how it works just don't afraid to try it and try it as more as possible same you see here is like greenish and uh, pur purplish pinkish kind of so two colors just kind of two colors no i mean this this brown is kind of related to pink so they're like kind of warm and this kind of green is cold and also some coldish gray around Oh, thank you. Yeah, yeah so this, um, all this brown brush pen. Also see, can I show before, how simple, how little lines. And I, this kind of drawings I love the most. It's the most, uh, it's the best f how I see it. It's like when it's just like few lines but it's have a character like you see it's all like just two marks in this eye to draw eye you just need two marks don't need to like sit and draw every like eyelashes and stuff that's why i say like you watch your favorite artist and you see like here like again like two three marks and this eyes with eyelashes and stuff like this simplifying it's very very important it's what make your drawing quick and uh, even if you don't want to draw quick simplifying is make your work clear it's became more clear it's more readable more uh, to the point you know more simple more to po to the point it is <laughs> like this something you know also like how making put just one color like here i use this purplish color 
and it's melted with this brown marker and it has this kind of good like phew, like fusion right and uh, also having this uh, color all over figure is uniting it in one solid shape is which is also like now it's like always like a gray shape Same, you see, like trying to use it, like eyes, noses. So all as what I was mentioned, different techniques, different material, again and again, same situation, different situation. Repeat, repeat, repeat. Uh, you should doing it until it became natural as brief so it's like you know you just like whoop you take some pencil and you already have like this mm, hours of thousand hours of experience like how you was using this pencil in different styles with mm, combination with different materials combination with different like watercolor and everything and you already like in subconscious you know how to draw it efficient how to use this pen efficient like and you're doing like this couple of marks and you have like super picture so you see this phases how simple just two two marks it's eyes just simple shape for glasses go googles is this i was watch actually this is not from metro this i watch youtube and i make some sketches from youtube no, listen lectures it's like historian and like psychologist kind of this and just then try to draw it like uh, for practice and this again back to metro it's in a book store again some just to see. maybe here can make mm, like one more color like gray for shadow to indicate shadow here he also uses gray to unite this figure Here is more saturated blue, sky blue. Here is like a very low saturated blue. Like all, all my, no, it's, it's like bluish gray. And here is more like I try to make like shadows. Here is just only background. And you see, I was practice this uh, drawing um, this mm, like exclude most of uh, of images don't draw as much as possible and you see how i draw this um, phases as shapes like this guy here so what is his face here it's like this shape it's a shape with uh, some details inside of it all of them like this same shape 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 like two shapes in one shape like a fractal shape of fractal this is my favorite artist Surnov I learned from him about shapes a lot Uh, no, I have my favorite tools. I usually I use this one, kind of this 
three markers. Also, I use this Lamy Safari. Ah, like this one, I did with the Lamy Safari. So I have like mm, five to ten, five to ten different tools. Also, this I draw with the Lamy Safari and some ink. This one I draw with uh, this one, Uni Pen for this one. So it was on a protest. And uh, this Lamy Safari. It's like, it's pretty different experience, pretty different process. This one it experiment. Again brown, and some colors. So, gray. Again gray, this watercolor. Gray. Gray and brown, brown, gray, brown, gray, <laughs> gray, brown. Some watercolor. So you see, mostly, mostly it's this gray and brown. But it's because of this paper, this paper, I cannot use much Lamy Safari and I cannot use uh, much other markers. Now I love this uh, IKEA actually. In my next sketchbook, I will more use IKEA, IKEA markers. So yeah, actually let's finish here. So also my wife is back, so I need to finish for today. This was some tutorial. If you have any question, also more question, ask me. It's kind of big topic, you see. And uh, I hope I help with my tips and um, can do one more time with a more organized, more structured tutorial. Yeah, so write me any question, it will help to organize. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.